Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 37. We have been working on some percentage problems. Today we'll do set number 4. Let's see what we have today. The first problem we have is first problem we have is 21%, 21 is 30% of what? 21 is 30% of what? And of course we know how to set up the equation from that. We've been at it for a while. 21, 21 is means, is means equals 30 percent means, percent means out of 100 of means, the word of means times or multiply and the word is our unknown. That's it. Let's get rid of the 100 from the bottom here. Multiply both sides by 100. We multiply both sides of the equation by 100. We can kill that 100 and we end up with 30 times x. 30 times x. 30x equals 100. 100 times 21. Leave it alone. Don't do anything with it yet. Let's divide both sides by 30. 30 drops out from here. And we are left with the x by itself. And here we have 100 on the top, 30 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. When we divide top and bottom by 10, 100 becomes a 10 and 30 is going to become 3. We see 21 on the top, we see 3 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. And 21 has 7 3's. That's it. That's our answer. 7 times 10. Our unknown x is 70. Let's see if it makes sense. Let's see if it makes any sense by putting it back in the problem. The question so now what we're claiming is, now what we're claiming is 21 is 30 percent of, 21 is 30 percent of 70. Let's see if it makes sense. 10 percent, 10 percent of 70 is how much? Well 10 percent of 70 would have to be 10th of 70 and 10th of 70 is 7. And 7 represents 10 percent. We don't want 10 percent, we want 30 percent. So we take times 3 times 3 will represent 30 percent and if you can multiply that side of the equation by 3 we got to multiply that side of the equation by 3 and 7 times 3 is indeed what we have here 7 times 3 is 21 so 7 times 3 is 21 which is exactly what we have here that's exactly what the problem tells us that 30 percent 21 21 is 30 percent of 70 so that answer must be right because it, it fits it makes sense let's do one more shall we As soon as I finish setting up the problem, pause the video and do it yourself first. 11 is what percent of 44? Well, listen, we could actually set it, set it up the way we said we're setting it up and we could do all those silly things, but this is too simple. We know 11 is, we know 11 is one quarter one quarter of 44. Of course we can see that 11 is one quarter of 44 and one quarter one quarter of anything is 25 percent. So the answer is 11 is what percent of 44? The answer is 11 is one quarter of 44 or 11 is 25 percent of 44 because 25 percent is one quarter. That's the one. Number three. What percent what percent of 50 is 12? What percent of 50 is 12? Let's get our equation out of it. And we know now that in order to get the proper equation, we have to translate one word at a time. And the translation guide is right here. What means what is our unknown? Percent means out of 100. So it's x out of 100, of means times, then we have our 50, is means equals, and 12. Now you see I shouldn't have written it like in a silly, silly, damn silly way like I just did, because I have no, I, I left no room for myself to work in. What percent, what percent of 50 is 12? Let's multiply both sides by 100. 
multiply both sides of the equation by 100 so we can get rid of this 100 and now we have 50 times x 50 times x equals 12 times 100 12 times 100 let's divide both sides by 50 and that would drop out that 50 and we're left with x by itself which is exactly what we want 100 divided by 50 is 2 divide top and bottom by 50 so it's 2 times 12 which is 24 x equals 24 what we're claiming here what we're claiming is that question what what percent of 50 what percent of 50 is 12 and what we're claiming is that oh sorry not the percent we mustn't erase the word percent we have to erase this is the what we have to erase the what and replace it with 24 so what we're claiming is that 24 percent of 50 is 12 24 percent of 50 is 12 let's see if it makes sense let's see if it makes sense what can we do it let's do it here well we know we know 24 percent of 100 how much is 24 percent of 100 well, 24 percent of 100 is just 24 if 24 percent of 100 if 24 percent of 100 is 24 then it stands to reason that 24% of half of that amount, which is 50, must be half of that amount, which is 12. So now it says 24% of 50 is, is means equals 24%. See, if you were to translate this equation into words, it would be like this, 24, it would be like this, exactly like this, 24% of 100 over 2 which is 50 equal means is 12 24% of 50 is 12 that's what we said here 24% of 50 is 12 let's do one more number 4 15% of 700 is what? 15% of 700 is what? Again, we could actually set up the equation like we've been doing, or we can just look at the quick way. The quick way here is to realize, the quick way here is to realize that 10% of 700, how much is 10% of 700? 10% of 700 is a tenth of 700, which is 70. If 10% is 70, then that implies that 5% of 700 would have to be half of 70 which is 35 so now we have 10 percent now we have 10 percent we have 5 percent let's add them up and we get 15 percent and 15 percent of 700 would have to equal the sum of these two which is 505 let's do next one shall we let's do one more The next question is asking us 25% of what is 6? 25% of what is 6? Again, 25% of what is 6? We want the x by itself, so x by itself is going to be 6 times 100. Bring the 100 to the top and divide by 25. 25 drops out and we end up at 6 times 4 which makes perfect sense because this was a damn silly thing to do the question is very straightforward the question simply is 25% of 6 is what? 25% uh, 20, of what rather? 25% of what is 6 but 25% is the same as a quarter a quarter of what is 6? a quarter of 24 a quarter a quarter of 24 of course is 6 a quarter of 24 is 6 is the same as saying 25% of, because a quarter represents 25%. 25% 25 of 24, 25% of 24, right here, 6 times 4. So in the place of what, we will replace it with 24. 25% of 24 is 6. 25% of 24 is 6. In the box here, where it says what, we will replace it with 24. Because that's what we found, x equals 6 times 4. 25% or one quarter, one quarter of 24 is 6. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. What percent of 
the 50 is 14. What percent of 350 is 14? Let's find out, shall we? What means the unknown part, percent means over 100, off means times 350 is 14. Again, I did the same thing. I was too generous with the space. I left no room. What percent of 350 is 14? We need to get rid of, we need to get rid of this 100 from the bottom. If you multiply both sides of the equation by 100, if we multiply both sides of the equation by 100, we can kill that 100. And we're left with 350x. 350x equals 14 times 100. Leave it like this, don't waste your time doing it out. And now let's divide both sides by 350. So we can get it, we can kill this 350, we're left with x by itself. We see 100 on the top, we see 350 on the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 5, or rather 10. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. This drop, 0 is going to drop out, that 0 is going to drop out. We see 14 on the top, we see 35 on the top, they are both multiple of 7, so let's divide both, both top and bottom by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 35 divided by 7 is 5, because there are 5 7s and 35, 7 5s are 35. We see 5 on the bottom, we see 10 on the top, let's divide top and bottom by 5. 5 is going to drop out and 10 is going to become 2. So it's 2 times 2. When, we, when it drops out, technically we're left with 1 here, but there's no point in writing, there's no point in writing 1 at the bottom. The answer is 4. The answer is 4. Our unknown, our unknown is 2 times 2, 4. Let's put it in here and re replace it, this word what. Replace this word what with 2 times 2, which is 4. And what we're claiming right now, what, we, what we're claiming is that 4%. 4% of 350 is 14. 4% 4 of 350 is 14. Let's see if it makes any sense. Shall we? Let's see. We need the room, obviously. We need the room, so we need to raise something. So let's verify it. We know 10% we know 10 of 350. How much is 10% of 350? We know 10% of 350 is... 35. If 10% of 350 is 35, that stands to reason that 1% of 350, 1% of 350 would have to be a tenth of that, 3.5, or if you like, 3.5. Now that represents 1%. What we are claiming is that the 4% of 350 is 14. So let's multiply this side by 4, and multiply that side by 4. And let's see what 3.5 times 4 is. 4 times 3.5. Let's see what that is. And what do you suppose that is going to be? What do you suppose that's going to be? I don't like this 3 where it came out. 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 and 4 halves. How many do you suppose 4 halves are? Well, 2 halves are 1. And 4 halves are 2. 12 plus 2 is 14, which is exactly what we said here. What we said is that 4%, you see, 4 times 1. 4%, 4% of 350 is... 3.5 times 4, 4% 4 of 350, because 1%, 1 1% of 350 is 3.5, and therefore 4% is going to be 4 times the amount, 3.5 times 4, which is then is 3.5 times 4, and 3.5 times 4, we just found out, is 12 plus 2, which is 14, which is exactly what the question tells us. The question tells us that 4% of 350 is 14, which means we did it, which means we did it correctly. We did it properly. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.